What's up y'all? Out here at the range again to do some more testing. Familiar sight to y'all by now, I'm sure. We're doing a lot of this testing. I hope y'all ain't getting tired of it because uh, I got plenty more planned I want to do with it. So bear with me. This stuff's just interesting to me, so I'm hooked on it right now. Uh, but as you see, the usual, if y'all, if y'all, the first time y'all watching one of these tests, uh, we got a chrono out here. We got two blocks of clear gel out here. Now one of them's got a couple of tracks from the uh, 10 millimeter test. Y'all, y'all probably already saw already. If you hadn't, I'll put a link up above. Go check that out. That was pretty interesting. But what we're doing today is another nine millimeter test, and we're mixing it up a little bit here today. We we bringing another different little pistol into the mix here. Uh, this is the little M P Smith and Wesson M P nine Shield E z three and a half inch barrel out of it nine millimeter of course uh and what we're testing today is something a little different also we've been doing a lot of hollow points and stuff like that and we're gonna mix it up here we're gonna do some solid projectiles but it's these fluted type projectiles and most people are familiar with these underwoods uh and a big shout out to brad newsom on these nine millimeter ones here uh, i actually had some of these but he sent me another box of them to do some testing so big shout out to brad appreciate that brad big time uh, but anyway, what we got here is the Underwood. These are 90 grains, the Extreme Defenders. And what they're saying is 1,400 feet per second. So, we, of course, we don't know what kind of barrel that's out of. You never do. That's why we're going to test it. So, uh, we got the Underwood, Extreme Defender. It's a solid copper projectile, and it's got the flutes in it. It's supposed to, with the spinning action of it, it's supposed to cause some hydraulic action and, and make a nice wound channel. Um, so, I tried to find something comparable to this. Uh, so what I come up with with these ARX inter interceptors and now these are nine millimeters of course now the weight on these are 65 grain so they're about a third lighter than the underwoods uh, and they're calling for 1650 feet per second and 393 foot pounds of energy so these are supposed to be some fast little suckers here and these are real similar projectile they got the fluting and got the little spiral the hydraulic action going on with them uh, but the difference in these are instead of being a solid copper like these underwoods these are a ground up copper polymer hybrid so it's just ground up copper and polymer that makes the projectile out of these so be interesting to see what happens here i'm expecting a whole lot more penetration than we've been getting with the hollow points but maybe not i always kind of overestimate the penetration on these rounds but we got two blocks lined up just in case so let me get them loaded up and we'll get started all right y'all if this is the first time y'all are here watching one of my jail tests uh first off check my video description there's probably some down there you'd be interested in uh just check my video page on my channel i've done a lot of these a lot of different calibers a lot of different weights so check them out and you might want might be something you're interested in uh but for those of y'all who hadn't seen any of these yet the first thing i do is chrono both rounds that i'm testing i just do a two shot average on the chronograph so we ain't wasting a whole lot of ammo shooting it off into the no into the wild blue yonder out there so we'll do a two shot average on both of them and then we'll get that to jelly test so again we're running out of the mp shield easy with the three and a half inch barrel the first up is going to be the underwood extreme defenders uh 90 grain solid copper projectile so let's see what we get here all right we got 1351 And we got 1336, so let's check out and see what the average is on that. All right, so we got an average on the Underwoods of 1343. The box was saying 1400, so that's not far off. They're probably using a longer than a three and a half inch barrel. Y'all know how they use the longest barrel possible to get them big numbers on the box. So 1343 average on the Underwoods. Now we're going to switch over to those ARX interceptors and see what they're running. All right, here we go. We got the ARX interceptors, a 65 grain projectile. This is the copper polymer hybrid projectile mixed up, ground up copper polymer projectile, solid projectile. So let's see what we get. ARX interceptor. This should be faster if the box is telling the truth and it is a lighter projectile. So I expect it to be faster. So let's see what we get here. Seventeen oh nine. That bad boy is cooking. Seventeen oh nine. And sixteen seventy five. That's a fast little projectile right there, buddy. Let's check out what the average was. 
All right, so the average on those ARX interceptors is 1,692 feet per second. That actually exceeded what the box was claiming. So 1,692 on that interceptor, which was right much faster than the Underwood's average. The Underwood, again, was 1,343. 1,343 versus 1,692. That's a pretty big difference. That's a 350 feet per second advantage to those ARX interceptors. So that leads me to believe there's going to be a difference in this gel but let's get it set up and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's jelly time uh we're starting out with the underwood extreme defenders 90 grain projectiles these are the solid copper projectiles these were moving at 13 uh 42 13 4, 52 somewhere around somewhere around 1350 so these were the slower of the two projectiles and 13 something ain't slow out of a nine but this was the slower one if you can believe that right so here we go the underwood extreme defenders let's see what she does all right nice hit let's see what happened down there That's pretty impressive from what I'm seeing so far. I mean, daggone impressive. Uh, so we're going to follow it up here with this ARX Interceptor. This is the 65 grain projectile. Very similar projectile, just a different composition. It's made out of ground, copper, and polymer. Uh, and it's moving right at 1,700 feet per second. So about 350 feet per second faster than that what we just shot. So it is a lighter projectile, but let's see what we get out of it. I'm very curious about this one. Here we go. I went pretty low on that. I hope I didn't go out the bottom of that. I was trying to keep it low and to the left, but I might have went too low. All right, y'all, that was dangerously close to coming out the bottom of that gel, but it actually didn't. Um, I went up there and looked at it, and I actually already turned the gel over and made sure, and uh, the you can tell it, it kind of, it, it kind of, scratched the bottom like it, it basically the wound channel kind of went out of the bottom of the gel uh, but the projectile didn't there's not even a mark on any of the wood or anything so but that being said it's turned around backwards in there as y'all can see so i want to give it one more shot just to make sure there was nothing funny going on with it being too close to the bottom and the hydraulic action off the wood flipping it around like that so we're gonna give it another shot and see what we can do hopefully this i can put this one a little bit higher we're gonna check it out again with one more one more of these arx intercepts just to make sure we give it a fair shot. So here we go. All right, definitely that's a better shot. That's where I wanted to put it the first time. So let's go check it out and see what they what we got down there. All right, y'all, we got us some good results here. Uh, actually, that I really probably didn't even have to do that second ARX, but I'm glad I did because it lets you see the wound channel better. Uh, so on the top, of course, that's the underwood on the top. The second one, the, the very bottom one down here that you can probably barely see from this angle, that's that first ARX. And then that middle one is my second shot on the ARX. So we'll look at these two middle ones. But well, I missed something to mention on that first one. You know, I, I reshot it because that bullet was facing completely backwards. And I thought it might have had something to do with the hydraulic action flipping it from down below on the board here. But it actually wasn't because the second one is backwards also. Uh, but the funny thing is the hydraulic action of that second projectile moving past the first one kind of flipped that first one up a little bit. So that's pretty interesting. But anyway let's take a look at these two we can see real good uh obviously as you can see i think it's it's fairly evident that the underwood outperformed that arx it's probably because the underwood is a heavier projectile because they're very similar in the type of the projectile they are um, both of them but now that, that being said the arx made a nice wound channel both of them got nice penetration you can see the wound channels on both of them excellent wound channels the underwoods is a bigger wound channel for a further distance that's what i'm gathering from what i'm seeing here as y'all can see they both went in opened up the underwood stayed opened up bigger for longer and kept going longer so let's measure the measure the penetration before i even measure i can tell you both of them are definitely within the limits of what the fbi standards want 
Uh, the underwood stopped at 17 and three quarters, so excellent penetration on that underwood. The ARX stopped at, the first one stopped at 14 and a quarter. The second one stopped at 15 and a half. So we're going to use that second one. So 15 and a half versus uh, 18 or 17 and three quarters is what the underwood is. 17 and three quarters and then 15 and a half on the ARX. So both of them great penetration. Uh, as y'all can see again, excellent wound channel. I'll give you a view from the top. This underwood, the it's hard to see from this angle, but it's got a wide open wound channel all the way to here, y'all. Really nice expansion, or well, not expansion, but really nice hydraulic action. Let me give y'all a view from above and let y'all check that out. All right, so here we are looking at the top of it. I don't want to get them mixed up here. Uh, the underwood, like I say, it's on the top. And then that one to the left is going to be the ARX. So underwood on the top, kind of rightish. But you can see that underwood, I mean, this is the part you couldn't see from the side view. Look at that wound channel. I mean, it's open all the way to here. That wound channel is opened up all the way to there on that underwood. And that's, that's definitely impressive right there, y'all. And then, of course, you can see down in there the projectile stop. On the ARX, the underwood passes into the second block and stops right there. I'll show y'all from this side here. Again, that underwood on the top there. I mean, really super nice wound channel. And then again, the ARX from this side, underwood on the top, ARX on the bottom. It's, it's no doubt that the underwood outperformed the ARX, and that, but that being said, that ARX definitely did a very nice job also. Both of those did a really nice job, so uh, let's pull the projectiles out and check them out. They should be nothing but solid projectiles, but we'll get them out anyhow. All right, y'all, basically not a whole lot to see on these projectiles. Pretty much just exactly what I figured it would be. Uh, they're, they're all completely intact. As you can see, the underwood there, absolutely no damage. Nothing but the sliding out of the case there. Other than that, completely undamaged, 100%. Same with the ARX Interceptor. That's just some gel stuck onto it, but completely undamaged. You can see where it slid out of the case also. Backside of it, got a little bit of, little bit of nick there. That might have been where the other projectile hit it. But yeah, both of them completely intact. No deformation whatsoever on these. So definitely interesting uh they both i think they both performed very well but again in my opinion i've got to give the edge to the underwood again that, that's the one on the top i've got a little different angle here so y'all y'all don't pay no attention over here uh underwood on the top arx on the bottom there i think the underwood definitely took the edge now it's going to come down to also we'll, we'll talk about the price thing here like we always do these arx interceptors i bought these about three months ago after this whole ammo mess started and those were only $16 for a box of 25 of those. Uh, as y'all know, if y'all bought these underwoods, these underwoods, even during regular times, these things are right at 30 bucks uh, for a box of 20 of them. So you're talking about basically double the cost on these projectiles. Is that double the performance difference? Uh, I don't know. Y'all tell me, what do you guys think about it? All right, y'all, yet another jelly test in the books. I thought this one was pretty interesting. This is something different that we've been doing mo mostly hollow points and stuff like that. So this solid projectile, I thought it was pretty interesting. The, the Underwoods and the ARX Interceptors, both of them, those fluted design on the projectiles, designed for that hydraulic displacement of the tissue or whatever it's penetrating, definitely did what it was supposed to do. It did what it claimed it did, fast moving little rounds. That ARX Interceptor was smoking fast little round, almost 1,700 feet per second that being said it didn't quite do the performance that the underwood did now both of them passed with flying colors in my opinion perfect penetration on both of them excellent wound channels on both of them i wouldn't honestly have a problem carrying any of these uh, to be honest with you i've always been a hollow point guy that's, that's just what i thought of i've never really considered carrying rounds like this but after seeing this i absolutely would not hesitate to carry these now the the 20 million dollar question is 
is the underwood price difference worth the little bit of extra performance that you get double the cost is basically what those underwoods are on those versus those arx uh, interceptors so y'all tell me what do you think you know uh, when it comes down to defending your life and saving your life you know money's no object there obviously you know that's not what we're saying but uh, just general carry purposes I mean, I guess you should be prepared prepared to, to be able to have to defend and save your life when you're carrying. So I guess if we're looking at it that way, then money's no object and it would be the underwood all day long. But let me know what y'all think. I, I personally think either one of them would do the job. Both of them got great penetration, great wound channel. I think they would either one of them would be a very nice carry round personally. But let me know what y'all think about it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as always. I got a bunch more of these. Go check out my video list if you hadn't seen any of these i got a bunch of them testing all kind of different rounds and i got plenty more to come so y'all check those out if you hadn't um leave me some comments down below let me know what you think let me know what you think of these rounds have you carried these rounds have you thought about carrying them but hadn't and, and might after this let me know what y'all think down in the comments uh check out my amazon affiliate storefront link in the description like i always ask you if you do your shopping through there it don't cost you a penny extra uh but we do get a little kickback from amazon on anything you purchase after going through that link it doesn't have to be what's in that actual storefront anything you go do your shopping on amazon anything you buy we do get a little kickback on it for the channel and i do appreciate that some of y'all been doing it and i greatly appreciate it and thank y'all for that uh but like i say hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe stay tuned for more and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon